Well, that was certainly something. Tonight was the NHL All-Star Skills Competition, an event I typically enjoy watching. The game itself has been deduced to a bunch of guys just not trying at all, and it's a snooze fest, but the skills comp actually tends to have nuggets of greatness. Well, for me, they found a way to ruin that this year. Now, during the event, Zegris tweeted out this, and Mark Mathot went a little harder saying how cringe it was and how it's become cooler to not try in this whole ordeal, wondering if anyone is actually watching. But come on, how bad could it have been? Bad. It, it was bad. <laughs> See, they went with an entirely new format this year. They didn't let an event finish. Instead, they chopped it up and had you going all over the place from one event to the next before completing anything. Now, the idea, I think, was to get some cliffhangers and keep people watching, but the pacing was just terrible. Over the course of three hours, three hours, we watched about nine seconds of skill. McDavid, an absolute beast, goes four for four in under 10 seconds, and there you go. That was it. That was all that was worth watching. Now, I'm being facetious, but McDavid did go four for four here in what was actually impressive, but let's just cut away and cut any momentum we have to move to the next event instead. So I guess over to golf we go. Now, I thought the golf was actually pretty neat and actually fairly fun to watch. It was a good idea. I'll give them credit. They tee off, over to the next shot, onto the putting green. Oh, never mind. We can't finish that either. That's right. They're going to keep us waiting to see them finish a single hole. So how about the shootout? Well, it has been degrading for years into a circus, but this year it was especially bad. Mitch Marner dresses up, we get Luongo out as goalie, it's getting set up as a big deal, so let's see what greatness they can come up with, yeah? He comes down, oh, oh, yeah, he lobs one up there, and that's it. Like, actually, that is what we're bringing to the skills competition. And then, again, that's it. It cuts to the next segment. So how about the hardest shot, then? That's one that's always pretty fun, and they can't ruin this, too. While it was decent, Pedersen comes up first, rips it, and gets 103 on the board, which certainly caught me off guard. But unfortunately, the rest was a bit depressing. Pedersen wound up actually winning it. And this was an event they showed in its entirety, because before you could even blink, it was over. So I guess that was nice. But all right, we're back to the golf. Now, again, this was pretty fun to see. It's a hockey skills event, so naturally golfing, a different sport entirely makes sense. I think what could have been actually cool here would be if the putting green was ice. That would have been awesome. Impossible being that it was in Florida, but regardless, it would have been cool. And this was actually one of the better events, like I said. Suzuki wound up taking it, and uh, what was the prize here? He got a year of Chipotle. Guess what his response was? There's no Chipotle in Montreal. <laughs> Like, come on, you can't even make this up. Now, surely they'll bring back the save streak where we have some competitive juices or some kind of actual stick handling event? Nope. All right, how about fastest skater? Well, seeing as how it didn't include McDavid or McKinnon, I kind of wrote it off, but it was all right. McCarr took a bit of a scary fall at first. Andrei Svechnikov ended up taking it, and this event wasn't ruined at least, but still, with all the cutting back and forth, I just didn't really care anymore by the end of it. So, I don't know. How about the Crosby and Ovi pairing back up for the shootout? This was hyped up, and this ought to be good, right? And it actually was. Two absolute legends pairing up for a nice moment with Ovi Jr., Ovechkin's son, Sergei. He does the Kucherov and scores. So yeah, it was a nice moment, not exactly showing the player skills, but you can't hate on this, obviously. And I don't know. I almost get the vibe that this is going to get played back one day when Sergei's an NHL All-Star, and it's going to be a big deal. We saw Crosby and Ovi pairing up for assists, and he scored, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right, so finally, we're back to the shooting. McDavid going 4 for 4 and under 10 wasn't enough to win apparently. Nope, instead they get creative with it and decided to ruin this event too. They had a crap format where they paired up two guys against each other in a knockout fashion. So McDavid and Kadri got paired up, good old Alberta rivalry. McDavid goes 4 for 4 again in impressive fashion. He has to be the winner, right? Nope. Kadri actually ended up beating him because McDavid took his time on the last one and yeah I mean credit to Kadri he did well here I'm not going to say he didn't but come on that's just brutal he also stood like three feet closer to the target than McDavid but still now Connor literally going eight for eight did four of those in one of the fastest times we've ever seen in this event didn't miss a shot and yet he's knocked out entirely Makes little sense to me. Anyway, now we get Kadri and Nelson up in the final. Kadri not too hot this time around, and Nelson ends up taking it. And there you go. Quick note, Daniel Sedin went 4 for 4 in 7.3 seconds back in 2011, which is just unreal to think of. Now, there were some other moments as well I didn't even touch on, but the video's getting too long, and you get the point. It wasn't exactly great, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.